The immersion you get from having 3D sound in your VR or 360 videos is uncomparable. And in this beginner guide, I will show you how to record, edit and export 360 video with 360 audio. So spatial audio completely free in DaVinci Resolve. And as an added bonus, I show you how you can emulate 3D sound even if you don't happen to have a 3D microphone. So shock me your ears and let's get started. There are multiple ways to get a 3D sounding audio mix and for Kino theaters, Dolby Atmos is the industry standard. But Dolby Atmos is bound to a speaker configuration which is hard to get rotated for a VR headset. But there is another format that can be decoded onto even a pair of headphones and that is Ambisonics. And that is the main reason why the Ambisonics format is used for VR videos. So what is Ambisonics and what does it have to do with this strange looking microphone right here? Ambisonics is basically a virtualization of a 3D room. The way Ambisonics work is you usually use one microphone and point it in one direction. So you have this direction of the room. But if you combine multiple microphones in different directions, you can get all of the quadrants in the room. If you blend all of these microphones together using this positional data, you can extract the room sound in three dimension. Because of this virtualization, you have basically two formats of Ambisonics. Ambisonics A format, which is the raw recording. And there is the Ambisonic B format, which already has the orientation from the virtualization of the room. And this is what you're going to use in your editing software. So if you have a microphone that records Ambisonic a format, you want to process that into Ambisonic B format. And this is why I love this microphone right here. This is the Zoom H3 VR recorder and this has a built-in gyroscope and does the conversion to Ambisonic B format automatically for you. So it knows which way is up and which one is down depending on how you mount it because rotating this sound in post can be tedious. But the catch is it only records first order ambisonics. And the order of ambisonic is basically the resolution of the room sound. So if you have a room sphere around yourself and you have a first order ambisonic, you have basically all the six axes more or less covered with four microphones. But if you use a third order ambisonic microphone like the Cilia, you would get this representation instead of using four microphones, you would get them with 16. So you have a better spatialization or orientation and finer details in your room. But for us this doesn't matter since most of the VR content is watched on YouTube and YouTube just only allows first order ambisonic so going with something like this will be totally sufficient. And how to record a 360 sound to your 360 video I can show you now. To get the video and the audio aligned you can mount the recorder underneath your 360 video with the standoff plate that comes with it and you would mount the tripod onto the plate like this. Or you can find creative solutions of hanging this from your tripod. And then I would recommend to turn both these on, start recording and snap once in the front and once on top. Because then you have two axes that you know which one is front, which one is up. But keep in mind that the LCD screen will always be the back and the logo will always be the front facing side. So keep that in mind if you know your orientation of your 360 camera. You should know which way is the front lens and which one is the back facing lens to get it just right from the start. This is just a workflow that helps me getting the alignment perfect. So we've recorded our footage. How can we use that in DaVinci Resolve? And for that I made a demo project and you can download it in the link below if you want to follow along. And in the download link you will also find a PDF guide to 360 video with Ambisonic Audio and you will also find download links to all the plugins that I use here for free 
Speaking of plugins, the two plugin suites you need are the IEM suite, which is great for decoding and encoding Ambisonics, and the O3A Core, which is a free plugin suite of Panner and Orientation plugins for Ambisonic Audio. So chuck them in your VST folder and if you don't have one, create one on your system. And to add the plugins into DaVinci Resolve, you just go into the preferences, go to audio plugins and add the folder that you just threw everything in there into this list. And then you should have them in Fairlight. After that, you might need to restart DaVinci Resolve and while restarting, you can import the project archive I made for you by right clicking in the project manager and click restore project archive. If you want to start from scratch, that's totally fine. Just create a two by one timeline like you would normally do with your 360 footage and drag it into the media pool. The most important part to getting Ambisonics delivered is to set up your bus format for the right audio. So go into the Fairlight menu at the top and choose your bus format and change it from stereo to LCRS, which is the four channel bus and four channels for the first order ambisonic audio, which YouTube uses to deliver it to your headset. But even though we're using a first order ambisonic output bus, we want to mix in third order to get the best spatial clarity and movement before we down convert it into the four channels. So we're gonna use third order ambisonics on our usual tracks. So we need to change the track type to 16 channels. For that, you need to right click on your track and change the track type to adaptive 16. And you're probably gonna need some more tracks. So right click, add tracks, add five more tracks, switch them to adaptive 16 and press OK. If you want to listen to ambisonics over your headphones, now is a good time to use the binaural decoder on the master bus. But keep in mind that this plugin needs to be deleted before rendering. And there we have basically prepared our project for mixing in Ambisonics. So the first thing to do is just drag in your footage into the timeline. To make sure our Ambisonic recording gets imported correctly, you should mark all your Ambisonic files that you imported, right click and change the clip attributes to adaptive for channels and delete the overhanging tracks that you don't need. So now all the channels of the recording go into one track and this is how it's supposed to be. Now drag in the WAV files underneath the video and sync it up with your camera by choosing both audio tracks, right click, align tracks based on waveform. And now DaVinci Resolve does all the magic for you. Now let's get into the Ambic Sonic mixing and editing stuff. How the plugin chains work is basically you use an injector to get everything which is below third order ambisonics up into third order ambisonics. And now you're using these 16 channels to position your sound in 3D space. You can choose, for example, the O3A look plugin with that you can turn your sound field. And then you funnel all these 16 channels back into first order ambisonics by using the O3A decoder plugin. And for all the colorists out there, it's basically the same thing as using a color space transform at the start and at the end to make sure that your pipeline is correct. Speaking of correct, let's check whether our orientation is correct in the mix. For that, I prepared a panel grid, which lets you see the same view basically as the plugin. Just drag the panel grid on top of your video and then go into the Fairlight plugins and choose O3A Flare. The Flare plugin shows you the intensity of sound based on its direction. So add that after your O3A injector and look whether your orientation is correct. If it isn't, then you can use the O3A look plugin to change and rotate your sphere around by using the azimuth and elevation dials. Once you have aligned your video and your audio correctly, you can delete the O3A flare. Okay, but what happens if you don't have an ambisonic recording, but have just a shotgun mic or a lav mic, for instance? You can get the recordings of these into Ambisonics by using the Panel plugin from O3A. So just drag your sound onto an empty track, choose the Panel plugin as the first plugin in your mix and position the sound that you want to have in your scene. Using the Panel grid will help you with that.
And if it's a moving source, what you need to do is you need to activate automation in DaVinci Resolve. So you activate automation with this button and in the automation controls, click on plugin to activate automations for plugins. Then click on the little automation icon in your track and then you can just hit play and move the cross of the panner according to where your subject in the frame is. And don't forget to use the O3A decoder into first order ambisonics at the end to get all of this positional data routed back into first order ambisonics. So now that we've aligned and positioned all of our sounds, it's time to export. And for that, don't forget to delete the binauralizer plugin on the master bus. Trust me, this also happens to me, so don't worry. Export your video with these settings and then open the spatial data media injector and check the boxes for spherical video and ambisonic sound. And this is the video that you're gonna upload to YouTube or Facebook. But if you notice any strange bending in your titles, you need to watch this video to avoid that.